In this video, we are going to give you an overview of the shortcodes of User Meta Pro. At first, login shortcode. This shortcode is for User Meta default login form. Copy it and use it in a page where you want to make your login page. Here is your User Meta default login form. Now let's move on to registration shortcode. Copy the code and paste it in any of your pages. It will provide you a registration form. If you use the second shortcode, it will work both as a profile and registration page. For the new user the form will be a registration form. And for the logged in user it will be a profile edit form. Next, the user profile shortcode. It is same as user registration. Where the first one, provides profile edit form. And the second one can be used for both profile and registration form. Then, field shortcode. It will give you the opportunity to choose any field ID in the shortcode. Firstly, I am making a shared field. Then, copy the shortcode and place the field ID, that I recently created. Here is the output of field ID shortcode. When it comes to field content shortcode, you can use it by two ways. By field ID and another as meta key. For field ID, copy the shortcode and paste it into a page. Give a shared field ID. You will see only the value of that field. And for meta key, at first make a field which contents meta key. Normally, fields automatically choose it. If you want you can customize it either. Then, copy the shortcode and paste it into a page with recently created meta key. Next is public profile shortcode. You can use this shortcode in two ways. At first, make a form. Then copy the shortcode and paste it into a page where you want to show public user display. To enable public profile, you need to provide a GET request. Add user ID in the permalink like this. Then you can see the public profile information of that user. You can also give the call parameter user's ID or email or username. And also customize the display in table or plane or line. Note that, if you use ID to GET request, then you need to use user underscore ID. For username, user underscore login. And for email, user underscore email. For example, I am trying a demo with username and the style of table. Using the request with username, the public display of the user is shown. Finally, for user list shortcode, we have an add-on on user listing. Activate the add-on. First menu is for front-end setup. Here, you need to select a page containing these shortcodes. This page will show the public profile display. Then from the shortcode guide, copy the user list shortcode. Paste in any pages where you want to put the list of users. If you click any users from the table, it will redirect you to the public profile page. If anyone want to put a caption in table, then use the user list caption shortcode and customize it. By the user list role shortcode, you can specify your user in the table by simply mention the role in the shortcode. If you want to choose fields what you want to put into the table, then, use user list fields shortcode. Here, you can mention multiple fields ID to customize your table. Another interesting shortcode is, user list link field shortcode. Here, you can choose the fields to make links for public profile display page. The documentation link will be given in the description below. You can find the more details with an example there. Hope you like the video. Thank you for watching.